What a dilemma! It can be a joy ride that flies by too quickly for small talk connoisseurs, or a living nightmare that never seems to end for claustrophobics. Yep, elevators. So many ups and downs. How would you like to take a ride on the world's fastest? Me neither. But stick around after that, and I'll quiz you on some of the most bizarre elevators out there. First, let's talk speed. In 1857, back when it was rare to come across a building that was more than 7 stories high, the Otis Elevator Company rocked the world by installing the first-ever commercial passenger elevator at 488 Broadway in New York City. It moved at an unimaginable speed for its time – 40 feet per minute. That's about only half a mile an hour. Doesn't sound like much, but remember, this is way before cars came around. A lot has changed since then. Life's getting faster, buildings are getting taller, and you can no longer impress anyone with an elevator that travels six times slower than the average person walks. If it takes forever and a day to get to their top floor apartment, office, or hotel room, people will unlikely buy or rent that property. So, companies designing and constructing skyscrapers must think over their vertical transportation systems. Now, they clearly did give it some thought when building the CTF Finance Center in Guangzhou, China. This is the seventh tallest building in the world, standing proudly at 1,740 feet at its highest point. The top 16 of its 111 floors are occupied by the highest five-star hotel in the world, the Rosewood Guangzhou. Not to mention, but I will, the building is home to the world's fastest elevator. It was opened and recorded in the Guinness World Records in September 2019. It skyrockets from the ground to the 95th floor in just 43 seconds. Think you could handle riding in an elevator moving at almost highway speeds of 47 miles per hour? To give you an idea of how special it is, most standard elevators go up to a maximum of about 20 miles per hour. But don't worry, Hitachi Building Systems, the record setter's designer, guarantee its safety and comfort. There are special rollers in four corners of the cabin to absorb unpleasant vibrations. The brakes are made of heat-resistant materials that'll ensure it stops smoothly even in an emergency. And you know that feeling when your ears pop on a plane? They thought about that too and installed ear pressure adjustment technology. The elevator only moves about half as fast on the way down, so it's more like what you're used to in standard models. You'd assume that when you have the Ferrari of elevators in the building, you wouldn't need to install anymore. In reality, the Guangzhou CTF Finance Center has 93 other low, medium, and high-speed elevators that move people up and down in its residential area and office space. Why so many? And why do skyscrapers, not just this one, need more than one elevator anyway? One is enough when the building isn't too tall. Let's say the whole elevator fills up on the first floor. If there aren't too many stories, that cabin will be big enough for everyone to get where they need to go, even that guy who's heading to the 10th floor. But what if you have 50 floors, or over 100, and each floor has dozens, if not hundreds of people working and living there? Do you think one lift could fit everybody? No, you'd need to install 10 times more elevators, and those take up space in the building. But then again, not all those thousand people actually need to get to the top floor now, do they? That's why most skyscrapers have an advanced elevator system. It's not just one straight shot from bottom to top, but a complex network with stops and transfers, sort of like the subway. Some elevators only travel between the 1st and, say, 15th floor. From there, passengers can transfer to another elevator that takes them to their destination or another intermediate stop. This way, only one or two privileged cabins actually make it to the very top. It helps save tons of space and energy, and it prevents human traffic jams. Okay, now you know everything you never expected to learn about the exciting world of skyscraper elevators. Now, <laughs> let's play a game. I have a list of some of the coolest elevators in the world. You need to guess their location in 5 seconds. Don't worry, I'll give you options. Let me know how many you get right down in the comments. Number 1. The Gateway Arch 
the futuristic elevator pods move up and down the legs of this 630-foot stainless steel construction that was designed by Finnish architect Iro Saarinen. There's enough room for five passengers in each of the eight compartments of the moving tram. It takes about four minutes to get to the observation deck at the top, and you can see the arch's interior through glass doors on your way there. So, do you think this architectural masterpiece is in Finland, Singapore, or the United States? The Gateway to the West is the biggest arch in the world, and it's the tallest monument in the USA. You can ride one of those pods if you head to St. Louis, Missouri. Number 2. The Baylong Elevator The name of this elevator that reaches a height of 1,070 feet on the side of a cliff translates as the 100 Dragons Elevator. It was opened in 2002, and you can spot fantastic views through its glass doors. It might even remind you of an iconic sci-fi fantasy movie shot there. Is it in India, China, or the Philippines? The correct answer is China. The Beilong Elevator is in the Hunan province. As for that movie, did you recognize Avatar? 3. Aquadome Would you like to travel between floors in the middle of an 82-foot-tall cylindrical aquarium full of 260,000 gallons of water and 1,500 fish? Well, if you have any worries about the fishies, they get plenty of food, almost 20 pounds a day, and a team of divers cleans the tank daily. Here's a hint. You can find it in a big-name hotel in a very famous European capital. Just don't forget to check out the historic Nikolai Quarter while you're there. Do you think it's France, Germany, or Russia? The beautiful Aquadome is one of the sites in Berlin, Germany. 4. The Falkirk Wheel The Falkirk Wheel is the only rotating boat elevator in the world, lifting vessels 79 feet from one canal into another. Imagine being in a boat and an elevator at the same time. What country should you book a trip to if you want to see this engineering masterpiece? Australia, Venezuela, or Scotland? Go to Scotland if you plan to see the Falkirk Wheel. Number 5. Elevator La Cerda This one isn't just an elevator, but a legit means of transportation connecting the lower city to the upper one. It transports over 30,000 people a day, traveling to a height of 236 feet in 38 seconds. Now, where is it? Argentina, Brazil, or Portugal? The correct answer is Brazil. La Cerda Elevator is a famous site in the city of Salvador. 6. Skyview Ericsson Globe At 279 feet tall and 361 feet in diameter, Ericsson Globe, or just Globin if you're a local, is the largest spherical building in the world. You can see a concert or sports game inside, probably hockey and take a ride in the glass elevators on the outside. You'll have enough time to enjoy the city views, given that a ride up in one of the lifts takes 20 minutes. So can you guess which country is home to the Ericsson Globe? Is it Sweden, Iceland, or Canada? It's Sweden! More specifically, you can check it out in the capital city of Stockholm. Hey, how many did you get right? Ah, so many ups and downs. Finally, elevators even go too fast these days to finish your elevator talk. That's the short speech you have in your pocket all about yourself that you have ready to pounce on a contact you want to meet. The speech is only supposed to last as long as an elevator ride, like 2 minutes. Hmm, better cut that down to 30 seconds. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. Here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. 
just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.